Hey guys, Jean-Claude here. We are going to be opening up the patron decks. Going to be for the 2 and up, 5 and up. This is actually for the month of January. A little bit late on this month. All right, let's bring up the wheel. This is the 2 and up. And good luck to everyone. Let's get a good spin here. What's there? We go. This is the official. And the winner of a first deck is... Oh! <laughs> wow! Okay, it was Joker41. That was the longest we've ever had to wait for a name to pop up. Like, that was super slow there at the end. All right. Good luck to you. And your deck is going to be... Hold on here. Oh, almost lost my words there for a second. Okay. <sighs> Ripping stuff. Gosh, every time I try to do these, I try to move fast. What is this, like, sticking? No, okay. Uh, all right, so Red Archon... Soryon is the first house, second house is Star Alliance, and the third house is Untamed. Benton Boss Whole Hog, okay. Yawn Bark, and let's see what this is. We kind of just go through these pretty quickly. Uh, reading off two different decks does take quite a bit of time, especially opening them. I feel like opening them takes a very long time. And as always, I really want to thank my Patreons. You guys keep this channel afloat. Thank you very much for your continued support. Okay, finally got it open here. We are starting off with Untamed. It's Umber Beast, 3 power, Elusive, and Skirmish. Trembles, 3 power, each mutant gains Skirmish. Growth Surge, Amber, have you played? Give a flank creature 3 plus 1 power counters, its neighbor 2 plus 1 power counters, and then the second creatures of the neighbor a plus 1 power counter. Oh, Reclaimed by Nature, it's a great card, 2 Amber on this one. Purge an artifact, resolve its bonus icons if you had just played it. Pismire with a capture pip, 4 power. While there are more friendly mutant creatures than enemy mutant creatures, your opponent's keys cost plus 2 Amber, great card. Ooh, a second one of those, this one without the capture pip. Oh, a third one of them. Oh my gosh, please, let me see 4. They obviously feed off each other because they're mutants, and that is just a sweet card. Oh, wow, interesting deck already. Key Frog is 2 power, destroyed 4 Jaki at current cost. Gloriana's Attendant, 1 power, Enhance 2 Amber Pips. Floomp, 3 power Skirmish, Fight, Give a Beast Creature, 2 plus 1 power counters. Dark Fairy is a good card, 2 power Skirmish, Fight, Gain 2 Amber. Okay, another one of those, love seeing multiples in a deck. Now we're on to Star Alliance, it's Forging an Alliance, Amber and have you play it. Forge a key at plus 7 current cost, reduced by 1 to a maximum of 6. For each house represented among cards in play. Two key cheats in this deck so far, Stealth Stir, 3 power Elusive, maybe play as an upgrade, gives the creature Elusive. Lay of the land, Amber W. Plate, look at the top three cards of your deck, put them back in any order, then draw a card. Subdue, Amber W. Plate, deal one damage to a creature, and stun it. Censor Chief Garcia with a capture pip. Three, power, play, fight, reap, keys, cost plus two Amber during your opponent's next turn. This is looking pretty solid so far. Scout Pete, four, power, play, fight, reap, look at the top card of your deck, you may discard that card. Another Scout Pete. Red alert with an Amber pip, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. Hadron Collision. Remove a ward from a creature and deal 3 damage to it. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. Crew Man Jorg 3 power. Enhance the capture pip. Action. If it has no Star Alliance neighbor, steal an Amber. Access denied. It's an upgrade. Amber W play with a capture pip. This creature cannot reap. Another one of those. This one obviously without the capture pip. The amount of duplicates in here is kind of insane. Now we're on to the Sorians. Good of the many. Destroy each creature that does not share a trait with another creature in its controller's battle line. I have not been a big fan of that card, but it is what it is. Dark Centurion 5. Power. Enhance 2 capture pips. Action. Move one amber from a creature to the common supply if you do ward that creature. City State Interest. Each friendly creature captures an amber. Ancient Power goes great with that card. Amber, whenever you play it, ward each friendly creature with amber on it. Spoils of Battle, Amber W. Play it. A friendly creature captures an Amber. Each creature with Amber on it captures one from its opponent. Another one of those. Lots of Amber control in here. Prefectus Ludo with a capture pip 5 power. Each other friendly creature gains destroyed. Move each Amber from this creature to the common supply. Monument to Ludo. It's an artifact. Action. Move one Amber from a creature to the common supply. If Ludo is in your discard pile, move two Amber from that creature to the common supply instead. Demo Source, 4 power. Play. You may exalt it. If you do, deal 3 damage to a creature. Destroyed. Steal one Amber. Curse of Vanity, Amber W. Plate, exalt a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Console Primus, 3 power, enhance the capture pip. Reap, move one Amber from a creature to another creature. And the final card of the deck is Beware the Ides, Amber W. Plate, deal 23 damage to a creature in the center of its controller's battle line. Whoa, okay, that looked very interesting. Might have been lacking some creatures. No, it was probably actually okay on creatures. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up the 5 and up wheel now. Okay, let's, there we go, and get a good spin here. Oh, no, come on. Okay, I kind of like that because it adds a little bit of variety. And the winner of the next deck is Mushkill11. Congratulations to you. You are going to get this deck. Hold up. Uh, right here. Okay. And let's see what's in store for you. 
If I can grab this, there we go. Oh, man. Come on, baby. It's a fight. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a purple Archon. The first house is Untamed, second house is Sanctum, and the third house is Dis. The Amused Imp Queen of Rock Mance, and let's see what this thing has inside of it. Oh, wow, I'm going to go back and see just how long I've been fighting with this rap on this deck. This is crazy to me. Finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. I'm obviously going to skip that, but I might put somewhere just how long it took me. Gosh, this is nuts. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay. Let's see what your deck has inside. Mush kill 11. Starting off with Untamed, it's Stampede, Amber Nevy Plate. If you used three or more creatures this turn, steal two Amber. I feel like every time I get this, there's not enough Untamed creatures. All right, that's a good start. Dark Queen, Gloriana, three power enhanced, two Amber Pips. Play, return a friendly, non-Untamed creature to your hand. Growth Surge, we saw this earlier. Ooh, Fangtooth Cavern, it's an artifact, Amber Nevy Plate. At the end of your turn, destroy the least powerful creature. Huh, Reclaimed by Nature is in this deck as well. Oh, a second one of those. Do love seeing artifact control. Pismire, can you imagine if there's going to be three in this one as well? Come on. Oh, only one. Niflape, three power. While it's attacking, ignore taunt and elusive. Lost in the Woods, Amber Nevy Plate. Choose two friendly creatures and two enemy creatures. Shuffle each chosen creature into its owner's deck. Gloriana's Attendant, wow, and it has two Amber Pips on it. This is a Dust Pixie. <laughs> okay, another one, this one without Amber Pips. Cephaloist, four power. While you have four more Amber, your Amber cannot be stolen. Now we're on to Sanctum, it's Techno Knight, 5 power, 2 armor, reap, discard a card from your hand, if you do, you draw a card. Charge with 2 amber pips, for the remainder of the turn, each creature you play gains play, deal 2 damage to an enemy creature, fun card if you get a lot of Sanctum creatures, ooh, check it out, Barrister Joy, a 5 power, 1 armor, enemy creatures cannot reap, always been a fan of that card. Squire Alice, 2 power, 2 armor, play, capture 2 amber. Smite, ready and fight with a friendly creature, deal 2 damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. Lieutenant Gorvanal, 4 power, 1 armor. After you fight with the creature, Lieutenant Gorvanal captures an amber. Font of the Eye, it's an artifact. Omni, if an enemy creature is destroyed this turn, a friendly creature captures an amber. Both these decks seem to be nice on the amber control already. Okay, a second one of those. Fangs of Gizzleheart, Amber Devy Play, purged the most powerful creature. Interesting, we have a Fangtooth Cavern and this, so we're destroying the least powerful and most powerful creature that turn. Commander Amber Devy Play it for the remainder of the turn. Whenever you play another card, a friendly creature captures an amber. Burning Glare, two amber pips with the damage pip, enhanced the damage pip, probably gave it to itself. Stun an enemy creature or stun each enemy mutant creature. Ardent Hero, four power taunt, cannot be dealt damage by mutant creatures or creatures with power five or higher. Now we're on to Dis. It's Xenofiend, three power. Fight. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one into your hand and one on the bottom of your deck. Destroyed, steal, and amber. Umbra Fiend, two power. Elusive, destroyed, steal, and amber. Soul Fiddle, it's an artifact, action, enrage a creature. Essence Scale, with two amber pips. That's a common theme in this deck. It's an artifact, action, destroy a friendly creature. If you do, ready and use a friendly creature that shares a house with the destroyed creature. Anguish, six power. For each damage on Anguish, your opponent's keys cost plus one amber. Techno Fiend, okay, three power, reap, discard a card from your hand, if you do, you draw a card, and destroy to steal an amber, very nice. Stir and Grave, once again, another two amber card, archive a creature from your discard pile. Stir and Grave, this one with only one amber pip, Imp Spectre, two power, destroyed, your opponent purchases a random card from their hand. Another Imp Spectre, Bonesaw, five power, for a friendly creature was destroyed this turn, Bonesaw enters play ready, and the final card of the deck is another Bonesaw. All right, guys, well, let me know in the comments down below which deck you preferred. Do love seeing these purple archons. Very nice. Honestly, I think both these decks are really strong. All right, guys, well, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.